What's up friends of YouTube? Welcome to another video of Immortal Engines. Today we have a new project. We're gonna do a very needed mod on my Yamaha R6. So let me show you what the problem is. Here's my Yamaha R6, it's a 2015. It has had the fender eliminator uh, that also eliminated the turn signals. But on the back, all we have is this tail light and a very, very poor excuse for a turn signal. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Yeah, to be honest guys, before judging other drivers while going down the interstate or the road, you gotta judge things yourself. And to me, that is a very lame turn signal. You can't even tell which way the rider is going. So what we're going to do today is a mod that I saw online and I'm gonna go ahead and give it a shot myself. So basically what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be doing passenger peg turn signals. So the way this works is uh, for this side, I'm gonna try and drill holes right here and insert LEDs from the back towards the front. And on here, I'm gonna do this side. So I'm gonna do LEDs here so that the people behind me can see. And I'm gonna do this side so that the people kind of, you know, kind of like in this angle so that they can see both. You know, if, if one angle is not good, the other one certainly will be. Before we go ahead and get started, I have to go ahead and do this disclaimer. If anything happens to the part, or if you break anything, if you injure yourself, I am not liable for anything that you may do to your parts or anything you may do to yourself while trying to perform this mod to your part. So use your discretion. As before we start working on the foot pegs, I wanna show you what exactly you're going to need to perform this mod. Let's start with supplies. So uh, first things first, you're gonna need eight millimeter, half a watt, orange LEDs you're going to need resistors for them you're going to need some wire to wire everything together and to the bike you're going to need some heat shrink tubing of all sizes and you're also going to need some of these connectors right here I'm sure you've seen them used before so you're going to need some of these male and female next you're going to need a, a drill uh, a bunch of drill bits from small to big uh, most importantly you're going to need this drill bit right here this is a size 5 16 or 7.9 millimeters 7.9 millimeters because that's the closest you can get to an 8 millimeter LED you're going to need uh, allen keys of all sizes so that you can you know pull the panels off your bike or the seat uh, and the foot pegs themselves you're going to need a cheap Harbor Freight or any uh, voltmeter so that you can find your positive and you can find your wires for the turn signals themselves uh, next you're going to need uh, pliers uh, of course you're going to need a soldering iron and solder this is very important because this is how you're going to solder the LEDs together uh, next you're going to need eye protection because you're going to be doing a lot of Dremel work this is the Dremel that I used and uh, all the tools that I needed to make the holes and all the carving uh, came from this kit and last you're going to need a ruler and good old sharpie so let's get to the mod so what we have right here is eight millimeter half watt orange leds now these i think are rated about four something close to five volts but you can't just wire these together and plug it into your motorcycle turn signal system because that simply is not going to work they're going to burn out after like three seconds so what you need to do is you need to limit the current that gets to the LEDs and for that you need to get these guys these are called resistors more specifically you need 470 ohm and that is OHM 470 ohm resistors these are rated for half watt which is the same as these LEDs and I got a hundred of them I got these for I think somewhere around six dollars on Amazon link will be in the description and these guys I got on eBay they were also very cheap they were about five dollars and this is 50 of them so how does it look well I have one wired right here and you'll be the judge whoops there you go uh, so now imagine a strip of those is definitely gonna be visible anyway that's what it looks like it's a really nice color it's amber is what you want for a turn signal so next, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna grab my Sharpie, uh, something to measure, and I'm gonna try my very best to mark a bunch of 
dots on here for the holes to be drilled as center as I can. I may have gotten LEDs a little bit too big for the job, but I think I can make it work. Just gotta take my time, mark it slowly, and we go from there. So I'll get back when I have those holes marked. Okay guys, I'm back. The holes have been marked, not yet done, but here's what I did. I grabbed my trusty old ruler and basically I wanted to start as soon as I was able to get behind it. I was only able to start from about here, so I went a little bit down and I marked the first one and uh, I kept them all uh, just about quarter of an inch away from the edge and then I marked them an inch away from each other. That allowed me to put six LEDs on each foot bag, which is pretty good in my opinion. If we put too many on there, then we don't leave any metal behind and it's gonna feel really flimsy. The other thing is I was not able to mark this side because I realized that my LEDs are wider than this flat area right here. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead now. Now that I have both of them marked, I'm gonna go ahead and start drilling. Let's go. Okay guys, so we're getting pretty close on the size of the holes to the actual size of the LED and uh, I had to stop real quick and run to the hardware store. This is an 8mm LED. The closest I could find at the store is a 5 16 uh, drill bit which ends up being 79 millimeters. So I figured that we drill with this and then we make a dance in the, in the holes a little bit just to make it barely big enough for this to fit and we should be all set. So this is gonna be the last round of holes for both foot pegs, and then we move on to wiring. But first, let's get those holes made. All right, guys, so check it out. I finished one of the foot pegs. So look at this. I'm not sure you're able to see, but that's all the LEDs sticking out and to make that happen, I actually had to kind of uh, grind the inside of the foot peg because it's not, the thickness is not consistent. It's like thinner there and then it gets thicker around here. And that would give an effect where some of these are sticking out and some are not. Here, let me show you what it looks like before. This is the other foot peg that I have not yet uh, worked on. Basically what I did is I grabbed my, my wheel and I went back and forth like this, especially on the back. And you can tell when you're getting close because the same thickness of the material that you see on the wall in here, you want to achieve the same back here by going back and forth like that. Now it's very tedious, it's very dirty. Uh, make sure to have eye protection and be very careful not to cut yourself. When it starts getting bad, just grab a cap like that from any kind of oil and dip your drill bit in it before you drill so that you have some lubrication and it doesn't get stuck as easy. guys I hope you excuse me for the mess for the aluminum everywhere but anyway I think uh, I think I, I am done so I'm gonna install the LEDs to show you guys what they will look like so basically what I do is I grab my needle nose pliers I grab them by the base and I fold them and when you do this you want to make sure you do all of them in the same direction for example I have the longer leg on the outside so I can solder the resistors while it's installed that way it you know it it's just long enough for it to work so let's see a couple of them are gonna be a little bit of a tight fit okay so now when I turn this around it should look pretty decent so Let's see what we get. Ta-da! 
I'm gonna put these guys away, clean everything up, and I'll see you guys on the soldering table. So, you're gonna lay down all the LEDs facing the same direction. You wanna start soldering the negative side first. So what you wanna do is, you're gonna insert them like that, and you're gonna, if you do it like me, and you space them out one inch, this leg is gonna be too short to reach the other one, and you need to connect all of those together. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab one of these resistors that you're gonna use for the other LEDs, and you're gonna cut it about that much. So then, you wanna grab this right here, like so, and you're gonna stick it back there so you can bridge that leg to the next one. And the reason why you wanna start on the far side is so that you don't have any of this stuff on the way so that you can insert your soldering gun and melt the solder to join everything together. Once you get them soldered on the negative leg and you do the resistors on the positive leg, what you have to do is you have to uh, run a wire basically and jump all those leads to that wire. I'm gonna do a time lapse of me soldering that red wire to all of those uh, and uh, we go from there. Okay guys, so I think I'm pretty much done with soldering. There's one more spot that I have to solder. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop the LEDs out one by one carefully. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is I am going to solder this negative lead and we should pretty much be done. Here we go, wish me luck. Here you go. Okay guys, so we're almost there. I reinstalled the foot pegs and ran the wires inside the bike and finished up the wiring. Now, I don't think there's much uh, point in showing you how I did the wiring for my bike because you might not have the same bike. All vehicles are different, but what I do recommend is that you look at the wiring diagram for your specific year and model motorcycle or vehicle and that will tell you what each one of these wires does it will tell you what it's for for example uh, see this green one it would say uh, right side turn signal so you know you want to tap into that uh, the only thing I will recommend is that you make yourself a little LED with a resistor and a wire so that you can test polarity so when you find the wires that you know are for uh, left and right turn signals you have to find out the polarity you plug this in one way and if the LED doesn't work try the other way LEDs only work in one polarity so they will always need positive to be connected to positive or else they won't turn on and if you leave them plugged in like that for a long time they're gonna burn up so the last thing to do is to test the blinkers I'm gonna sit on the bike put it in contact and then I'm gonna turn either blinker and see how it goes all right left blinker right blinker Left one more time. Bam. Success. Everything works. So we have our foot peg LEDs working. Now this looks great and everything, but there is nothing like seeing it on nighttime. There you go guys. Nighttime, it looks amazing. Much better in person. So I hope you were able to understand how to perform this mod. I hope my video was helpful. If you like this video, please leave a comment, like it, subscribe, and turn the bell notification icon so you can be up to date with all the videos I upload. Thank you for watching Immortal Engines. See you on the next one. I'm a scat man.